Good morning and welcome. As we stand here approximately uh, 13 hours, I believe, uh, before the end of my term as emergency manager, I reflect with a sense of uh, bittersweet memory at this time. It is time for the city to emerge from bankruptcy, and we've sp spoken about that many times before. But the fondness that I've developed in my heart for the city, for the citizens, for the two gentlemen behind me, both the governor and the mayor, as well as the city council will remain. I want to thank all of the residents and citizens of the city, the elected officials in the city, the elected officials in the state, both in the legislature and the executive branch, the judges, the mediators, the counterparties, the restructuring professionals, and everyone that has helped us get to this point. We are thankful that at this point the city will emerge later today by the time I go to bed from bankruptcy. We will exit. And we look forward truly to a better time for the city going forward. I want to thank all of you for giving us this opportunity to finally bring this matter to a close. More importantly, it's time for me now to step back and return the city to the regular order. Yesterday, I was proud to sign a letter that ended the financial receivership of the city of Detroit. Um, we'll end the term of the emergency manager with the completion of the bankruptcy. And it's all subject to the finalization of the bankruptcy process, which should be happening later today. The paperwork's all in the pipeline and the process and is being filed. So the bankruptcy will wrap up today, Kevin will wrap up today, and the emergency, financial emergency in the city of Detroit will be defined as wrapping up today. So it's truly historic. And it really happened because of great partnerships, of people working together, and that's the biggest message of all of this. This has been an extremely difficult and hard process for many people, but people work together, and I think we've gotten an outstanding outcome, far better than people's expectation. And now, most importantly, we have the city poised for a new chapter, a new chapter that's about the growth of the city of Detroit after decades of decline, and that's extremely exciting. So I'm very proud of those achievements. In particular, I do want to say thank you to Kevin Orr. Kevin, thank you for your outstanding service. Since March of last year, um, you've been a person dedicated to the city and the state, and it's outstanding. And I can tell you, as you return home, and we're happy to have you returning home for the holidays, um, you will always be considered an honorary Michigander. Thank you. And we always want you back. So thank you for your outstanding service. Um, this is a great case of people working together to make this happen, though, and I want to thank the mayor and the city council for their outstanding partnership in pulling this together in terms of finalizing this process, of getting us through. If you think about it, the debt load of the city of Detroit has been reduced dramatically by $7 billion. There's now over a billion dollars that will be set aside to reinvest in better services and better things going on for the city of Detroit going forward. If you look at the time frame over the last year or so, we've seen a major improvement in sit, city services, which was long overdue. And it's exciting to see response times on public safety improving, blight removal taking place, street lights going up, trash removal taking place. And to say this is only the beginning of a stronger foundation that I'm confident the mayor and city council are only going to make things better and better. And I really look forward to partnering, continuing the partnership we already have, but having them in more full control of the city without the financial manager being here and looking forward to a very bright future where we're all focused on growing the city of Detroit. A tremendously exciting outcome. I do want to thank uh, Judge Rhodes and the mediators uh, for what was a record process in moving through uh, the bankruptcy proceedings and allowing us to get back uh, to business. I want to thank the employees of the city of Detroit who took a number of sacrifices in this process but have really done a fine job uh, this year in, in delivering services to the residents. I know the people of the city have seen the service improvement uh, that's coming from our folks. To the foundations and the corporations who contributed to the grand bargain, uh, this wouldn't have been possible without them. Uh, to the governor and the legislature who supported us uh, in that process uh, at a time when it wasn't obvious that it was the politically good thing to do, although I think it's, it's worked out fine. Uh, but we appreciate your leadership. Uh, and to uh, Dennis Muchmore and Rich Baird of the governor's staff who have had their share of uh, uh, phone calls from me unhappy about one thing or another, they've been great partners uh, in working out 
uh, so many things. And finally, uh, thank you uh, to Kevin Orr, a former emergency manager. That has a nice ring to it. Uh, and uh, Kevin, when you talked about uh, looking back on your time with fondness, uh, I think about Winston Churchill who said, uh, happiness is more often remembered than experienced. And I think you're already uh, remembering the uh, happiness more than you actually uh, uh, experienced it. But we wish you uh, nothing but the, uh, the best of luck. I know you'll be successful in whatever you do. Detroit is a far better place today than it was 18 months ago in terms of services, debt load, everything else. But there's much work to be done, particularly in the neighborhoods. It's great. Midtown and downtown has so many wonderful projects already going on, and I'm really committed to being a good supportive partner to say how can we make sure the neighborhoods are coming back, jobs are being created, other good things are gonna continue to happen in the city of Detroit. Um, but that's my main point, as I mentioned earlier, is isn't it great now we're all discussing how we can grow Detroit?